Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and your friends' friends. That's one way you can keep me going, inspired and refreshed. Now, if you like my videos because they are interesting and important to your studies, also please don't forget to subscribe. So here is a series of problems on cables. Level 36, a cable has a mass per unit length of 3 kg per meter and is supported as shown. Knowing that the span L is 6 meters, determine the two values of the sag D for which the maximum tension is 350 newtons. So here is the given figure and let's superimpose the X and Y axis as shown. So the distance to the lowest point from the origin is C. So the tension is W times Y and Y is also C plus T, which is equal to YA, YB, because the two supports are on the same level. So substitute 350 and W is 3 kilogram per meter times 9.81 times Y, so we can solve for Y. So solving for y, y is 11.893 meters equals C plus D. So 11.893 equals C plus D. And the formula for y is also C cosine, the equation of the catenary, C cosine hyperbolic of x over C, where x is by symmetry half of 6, which is 3 meters. So xb equals xa equals 3 meters. So y equals C cosine hyperbolic of x over c. So 11.893 equals C cosine hyperbolic of quantity 3 over c. Again, x is 3 half of L. So using the calculator, c, there are two values of c. The Higher one is 11.499 and the lower one is 0 0.92405 meters. So using the higher one, equate it to y 11.893 equals c plus d. Then from there, we can solve for the sag. 11.893 equals c plus d. So the lower, c, lower sag d is equal to 0.394 meters. And 11.893 equals 0 0.92405 plus D. So rounding off the answer to four significant figures, the other value of D is 10.97 meters. So that's it for this problem. Level 37, a uniform rope 50 meters long passes over a pulley at B and is attached to a pin support at A. Knowing that the length L span L is 20 meters and neglecting the effect of friction, determine the smaller of the two values of the sag D for which the rope is in equilibrium. So this is the figure and this uh, cable will be in equilibrium if the suspended length will just be enough to carry the this portion of the cable. So this, the weight of this end is equal to the weight times the length of this part. So since the total length of the rope is 50 meters, including this, and if we denote this by S and S, let's superimpose first the X and Y axis. So this is C and we have YA equals YB equals Y because of same level supports and let's denote that by S. So this remaining length is 50 meters total length of the rope minus 2S. So tension at B is uniform weight of cable times YB, this one, and it is also equal to W times the length of the suspended part which is the length of the suspended part is 50 minus 2s, the total length minus 2s. So cancel out w, so yb equals 50 minus 2s. 
yb is c plus d and it is also c cosine hyperbolic of x over c where x is half of 20 so 10 and s is c sine hyperbolic of x over c so 50 minus 2s equals c cosine hyperbolic of x over c or y yb is 50 minus 2s and this is the equation of the catenary c cosine hyperbolic of x over c substitute the value of s which is c sine hyperbolic of x over c where x is 10 so 10 over c equals c cosine hyperbolic of 10 over c so on dc is the unknown here so using the calculator solving for c there are two values c is 27.742 and C is 5.5495. So we use this so that D is uh, the lower one because we are on the as for the smaller of the two values of D. So C is 27.742. From here we can solve for S. So S is C sine hyperbolic of 10 over C. So the length of the cable the length of this portion S is equal to 10.218 meters. Then substitute into Y, which is C plus D, equals 50 minus 2S. So 27.742, this is C plus D, which is YB, equals 50 minus 2 times S. YB, C plus d c plus d c plus d equals 50 minus 2 s and s is 10.218 so we can also solve for the smaller value of the sag d equals 1.822 meters level 38 a cable with a weight per unit length of w is suspended between two points at the same elevation that are at uh, distance L apart. So determine the sag to span ratio for which the maximum tension is as small as possible and the corresponding values of theta B and the maximum tension. So take note objective is to minimize the maximum tension in the cable so that makes it complicated. So we express the tension in terms of the minimum tension which is the horizontal component of tension which is denoted by big H so solution that superimpose the x and y axis so tension equals w times y y a equals y b equals y and take note that the formula for equation of catenary y b is c cosine hyperbolic of x over c where x is half of l so 0.5 l take note that the product of uniform weight of cable per meter times c is big h the x the horizontal component of tension at any point on the catenary so we replace this by h and c is h over w so t max equals big h cosine hyperbolic of x over h over w simplifying so t max equals h cosine hyperbolic of point l over 2 x is l over 2 so we have w in the denominator x w x x is l over 2 over big h Simplifying further, so T max equals big H quantity cosine hyperbolic of WL over 2H. So let's minimize this with respect to big H. So derivative of T max with respect to big H is H. Derivative of cosine is sine hyperbolic of WL over 2H times WL over 2H times negative 1 over H square. So take note that WL over 2 is the constant and the derivative of 1 over H is negative 1 over H square with respect to H. Then plus cosine 
hyperbolic of WL over 2H, derivative of H is 1. Then equate to 0. So simplifying this to the right, so this is cancel H, this becomes positive. So we have WL over 2H sine hyperbolic. So cosine hyperbolic WL over 2H equals WL over 2H sine hyperbolic of WL over 2H. So replacing back big H by WC. So cosine hyperbolic of WL over 2WC equals WL over 2WC sine hyperbolic WL over 2WC. Cancel W. So this is cosine hyperbolic L over 2C equals L over 2C sine hyperbolic of L over 2C. So tangent of hyperbolic L over 2C sine hyperbolic over cosine hyperbolic of L over 2C equals 2C over L. So tangent hyperbolic of L over 2C equals 2C over L. In this equation, let us denote L over 2C as big N. As L over 2C, therefore this equation becomes tangent hyperbolic of N equals 1 over N. The right side, so the reciprocal. So therefore from here, using the calculator, we can evaluate N equals 1.1997. So substitute here, 1n, which is 1.997, is L over 2c. That means L is 2.3994 of c. So that uh, the sag to span ratio, so y is c plus d, and it is equal to c cosine hyperbolic of 0.5 L over c, where c is... L over 2.399 or C plus D equals C cosine hyperbolic of 0.5 of L. L is 2.399 for C over C. So we can cancel this. So C plus D equals the value of the right side is 1.8102 of C. From here, D is 0.8102 of C. And substitute the value of C, which is in terms of L, L over 2.399. So the sag to span ratio can now be computed. D over L, 0 0.8102 over 2.399, and that is 0 0.3377 to four significant figures. Then for the value of theta B, tangent of theta B is vertical component of tension over horizontal component of tension, it is also equal to S over C. S, B over C, or simply S over C. Since S is C sine hyperbolic of X over C, and X is 0.5 of L, then over C, 0.5 of L, this is L, 2.399 C over C, so we can cancel C. So S cannot be expressed in terms of C, which is equal to 1.5089 of C. Substitute here, tangent theta B over, tangent theta B is 1.509 C over C, cancel out C. So inverse tangent hyperbolic, sorry, inverse tangent of 1.5089, so theta B is 56.47 degrees. For the maximum tension, substitute it here. Where H is WC. So T max equals W and C is L over 2.399 for cosine hyperbolic of uh, WL. So since H is since H is WC, we can cancel WC. So Let's just have it uh, here. Uh, 
here this one so c cos cosine hyperbolic of 0.5 of l over c so we can cancel c and we can evaluate this value in terms of wl so t max is equal to 0.7544 of wl so that's it take note that this formula comes from here and we replace h by we replace h by wc so that we can cancel w uh, what is left is 0.5 l over c so 0.5 of l this is in terms of c over c so c cancels out so that's the value of the maximum tension A flexible cable of uniform weight per unit length rests partly on a horizontal plane and passes over a small pulley of negligible friction at A as shown below. By gradually increasing the force T applied to the end of the cable, the length of contact BC with the plane diminishes to a certain limiting value of A at which sliding of the cable along the plane impends. Find this limiting value of value A, if L is 200 meters, the sag is 20 meters, and the coefficient of friction between the cable and the plane is 0.5. So here is the given figure. So take note that L is 200 meters. So let's indicate it, 200 meters, then let's superimpose the X and Y axis. So this is the point where the contact uh, diminishes on the ground and D is 20 meters so we will denote since this is denoted by A then this is 200 minus A so the horizontal component of tension is denoted by H and H is WC this portion of the cable in contact with the floor is W times the length of the cable in contact with the floor A so the normal reaction will be WA also and this is H which is WC normal WA and friction should be coefficient of friction times normal WA mu times N so mu N equals H which is WC for equilibrium so mu n equals wc, substitute the value of n which is wa, cancel out w, so mu 0.5 times a equals c. So that's the value of c. Then since y is c plus d, and it is equal to c cosine hyperbolic of x over c, where x is 200 minus a, so y equals c plus d, c cosine hyperbolic of x over c. C is 0.5A, D is 20, then X is 200 minus A. So 0.5A plus 20 equals 0.5, cos 0.5 of A, which is C, cosine hyperbolic of X, which is 200 minus A, over C, which is 0.5A. So in this equation, only A is the unknown, so using your high-tech calculator there as long as it is allowed by your professor or by your by the professional regulation commission then we can evaluate a so a is equal to 146.9 meters so finally this is the most challenging problem of this part actually all the problems are challenging all the problems here are considered star problems and this is for me the most challenging one determine the minimum length s sub t of a flexible cable ac of uniform weight per unit length which can hang in equilibrium as shown below neglect friction and that is the dimension of the pulley b what is the sag to span ratio so here is the given figure and the condition is to determine the minimum length total length of this cable 
which is 2 times s if we denote this by s and s so 2s plus the length of portion bc so the tension at b which is w times y is equal to the weight of this cable portion bc which is w times length of bc so Let's superimpose the x and y axis. So call that S, S, then this is SBC. So tension at B is W times Y, B equals W times the length of BC also. So cancel out BC, YB is C plus D, and SBC is simply SBC. So that means YB is equal to SBC. That is why the x-axis crosses exactly the end of this portion BC. So YB is SBC. Formula for YB is C plus D, which is also C cosine hyperbolic of X over C. And SBC is, is from the figure SBC, which is C plus D. So S total therefore is 2S plus SBC. The formula for S is C sine hyperbolic of X over C where X is 0.5 of L while SBC is YB. So formula for YB is C cosine hyperbolic of X over C and again X is 0.5 L. So S total is 2S plus YBC or YB. So S total is 2 C sine hyperbolic of X over C plus C cosine hyperbolic of X over C. So minimizing ST with respect to C and replacing X by 0.5L. So S total is 2 C sine hyperbolic of 0.5L over C plus C cosine hyperbolic of 0.5L over C. So differentiating this, minimizing ST with respect to C. So we have DST of, with respect to C is 2C cosine hyperbolic 0.5L over C times ne negative 0.5L over C squared. That's the derivative of 0.5L over C. Plus sine hyperbolic of 0.5L over C, derivative of 2C is 2. Then for this second term, C, derivative of cosine is sine hyperbolic of 0.5L over C times derivative of 0.5L over C is negative 0.5L over C square. So C sine hyperbolic 0.5L over C times negative 0.5L over C square plus cosine hyperbolic 0.5L over C times derivative of C is 1. Then equate to 0. So let's write the positive value here. So take note that this negative value when transposed to the right becomes positive. So the simplified form cancel C is 0.5 L over C times 2 cosine hyperbolic of 0.5 L over C plus sine hyperbolic of 0.5 L over C. So take note that we cancel C. So 2 times sine hyperbolic of 0.5 L over C plus cosine of 0.5 L over C equals 0.5 L over C quantity 2 cosine hyperbolic of 0.5 L over C plus sine hyperbolic of 0.5 L over C. After we factor out 0.5 L over C, uh, they become positive. So, using the calculator there, I the calculator. So let's so exp solve for C in terms of L. So, C is 0.5590L from this equation. And having found C in terms of L, so when you substitute and solve for C 
from your calculator, just imagine L is 1. And using the high-tech calculator, again, just imagine L is 1. Then using your calculator, the result for C would be 0 0.559. So because we treated L is 1, so that's why it is in terms of L. So we can now substitute and solve for ST into this equation. So ST minimum equals 2 times C, 0.559L, sine half hyperbolic of 0.5L over 0.559L. So we cancel L. So then plus C, 0.559L, cosine hyperbolic of 0.5 over 0.559. Take note that we all, I already canceled L here. So ST minimum will be in terms of L and it is equal to the first term is 1.1388L, the second term is 0.7979L. So ST minimum is 1.937L. Then what is the sag to span ratio? So take note that this is Y, which is SBC, YB, which is SBC, C, cosine hyperbolic of 0.5L over C. So take note, this is Y. So YB is 0.7979L, the value of this, and it is equated to C, C plus D. So C plus D. From here, we can solve for D which is 0.2389 of L. So the sag to span ratio D over L is 0.2389. So that's it for cables. And I hope that these 40 examples can develop your analytical skills. I already considered the most challenging problems in on, on cables, although there are still some problems, but they are related to the problems presented here.